and just watch what happens to our measurement as we start to increase our sampling. So here you can see our sampling is beginning to change. We're taking more and more samples across this one second of data, and you can see that our spike or our measurement for the frequency is starting to shift and bounce around and move around. The magnitude is also starting to grow as well. Now we're over 100 hertz, and you can see it's still starting to bounce around, but we're measuring less than 50 hertz, and which is problematic, but it's, now it's pushing up and it's moving closer and closer towards the expected 100 hertz frequency we expect to measure. And as it continues, you can see it's getting much closer and much closer. And now that we're above 200 hertz, you can see we are measuring that 100 hertz frequency. And it's actually completely stopped dead in its track. Our, our spike is no longer moving. As a matter of fact, the only thing that's happening to it is its amplitude is growing. And that's because now we are appropriately sampling our signal to be able to measure this 100 hertz frequency.